Hi guys, welcome to an episode on Live, Learn, and Repeat. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about parenting style. African versus American, American style. continue not subscribe to the channel do so by clicking on the subscribe button below mm -hmm. do not forget to give the video a thumbs up yeah and also drop a comment yeah. and share with your friends right yes now let's get started yes right the idea behind this video is very very simple you know we talked about like the background that we have is kind of like different you know yeah. and then most of the time it boils down to how you were raised as a child so we figure it would be like a nice conversation to have on camera about her parents, parenting style. Yeah, and right. entertaining as well. So yeah, I made so, up a couple uh, of questions yeah. and then, for us to compare and contrast. And contrast. Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're gonna do, mm -hmm. and she's gonna take the lead. I'll just like <laughs> insert your. You have to answer the questions. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one: um, How many people grew up in your house? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna count. <laughs> um, give or take seven. Yeah. Including you? Including me, yeah, mm. seven. And at a, like at a particular point in time when I was growing up, you are most probably going to find like seven people, including my parents and everybody. In my parents. House. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So, so mine was eight. Mm. Mm -hmm. Six kids, two parents. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. So now that you have that background information, yeah. Let's wait, wait, wait. See. And we are all boys, except for just one girl. Ah, it's important. Yeah, it's really where's important. the girl. <laughs> Uh, where is he? Or? Like, um, in order. Well, like she was, the girl lived with us for like a year. It was, she was my cousin. Mm -hmm. Is it called, do you call them cousin? cousin yeah. yeah, she was my cousin and um, she lived with us for like a year or thereabout. She was like a little girl, then she left. So, uh, okay. yeah. And mine is the opposite our girls and one boy, boy. and the boy is the youngest. Yeah. Did you grow up with any family traditions? Um, yeah, I think when I was growing up, we do like morning prayer thing. Morning yeah. prayer, okay. yeah. That, that's like really important to my parents when I was growing up. Okay. We have like wake up very early in the morning, we do like this praise and worship thing. Did you always do it? Like, you have to, <laughs> you have to be there. And okay. so, there's a funny story about that mm -hmm. because when we do it, like, my dad is always like taking the lead prayer, like, he's always like leading the whole house, mm -hmm. and it takes forever. It's like <laughs> doing the most with this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, mm -mm. So everybody ends up sleeping, including my mom. <laughs> oh no! Everybody ends up sleeping, right? <laughs> oh no, not mom. Yeah, so. Okay. So it's more than an hour? Babe. <laughs> Sometimes it's more than that. And then it has like this way of saying it. And when you think he's about to like run the whole thing up, then it starts again. I'm like, what? And our prayer style in Nigeria is not like, you know, in America when you pray, you be like, uh, do the prayer, then you just want amen or two amen like that. See, every second you have to say amen. Amen, amen. amen. <laughs> yeah. And this is the thing that I notice, like when you talk to your dad or when you talk to, I don't know, someone, mm -hmm. you'll always say amen, amen, amen. Yeah, because amen. they are praying for you. Amen, amen, amen. It's like, one thing about African parents is they believe, like we believe Africans believe so much in prayer, right? Mm -hmm. So when they call you, like when we talk on phone, it's always like saying a prayer or something like, different kind of stuff. So you have to say amen. And amen, then when amen, you act amen. like you get tired, <laughs> He's gonna get angry. And you're like, Can't you open your mouth and say amen? Like, amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so a uh, ritual for us was morning prayer as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that started back in middle school for us, maybe high school, definitely high school. Um, but it was early morning too, 5 30. My mom would lead it. And like the first couple of years, like you just wake up at 5 30 to go back to sleep. And then hopefully, like your inner clock tells you it's your time to pray. You wake up, you pray, and then you go get ready for school. But I'm so grateful for that though, because now I continue to do it. Like it carries with me. 
you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely a ritual that we did. Any other ones? We had, well, ours wasn't just in the morning anyway. The night was the most annoying part. Well, sometimes the morning one is like not really long, oh, like yeah, an hour, true. but the night. <laughs> the night one. That's like the worst part. <laughs> and my dad does something like when, when, <laughs> when they're done with the prayer, mm. And like they've done, like they've shared the grace and done everything like that. Yeah. It's gonna say, and he knows you're sleeping. It's gonna say, um, it's gonna call your name and be like, say the grace. And then because you've been sleeping, you did not know they've said, they've said, like they said the grace. Right. Else. You're gonna say your own grace. And when you're right in the middle of it, it's gonna say, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that. <laughs> sleeping out true. Right. It's very fun. Yeah. You feel bad? Yeah. I mean, it's effective. Yeah. Um, what else did we do? Uh, a birthday song. So we're really big about birthdays in our family. So one thing, I don't know when this tradition started, but there's a song called Birthday by Kenton Jones. I, 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 I once saw your dad like in a video. Do it. Yeah. yeah. So he, my dad blasts this song in the morning, comes to your room, sings the song, shakes you, is jumping up and down. And the song says, it's your birthday, shoddy. So like, that's... That's just it. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you play around the birthday. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no. African parents are not that into you as a child. Oh. Yeah, they, I mean, it's not their fault. They were raised that, that way too, right? Mm -hmm. So, which makes sense. Like, you raise your kids the way you were raised, right? Mm -hmm. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. So, they were not really that affectionate. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. This is something that I've noticed. Don't tell an African parent you love Affection, them. They're yeah. like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was this there was this father's day that I called my dad and I was like I don't know what got into me it's never gonna happen again <laughs> if you're saying this no so I was like we were like uh, I think I called him or I texted him no I texted him or I called I don't know I, yeah I called and I was like yeah uh, happy father's day I think I said I love you it did not come out well right <laughs> so he made me say it like three times I was like what did you say again? Oh. Was like, that was when it started getting up. I was like, who asked me to do this thing? This is... So yeah, I'm not doing it again. I mean... But it, it doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean they don't like yeah. you. They were just like, not raised to. Yeah, sounds yeah. so strange to them. That's interesting. But yeah. you're, you're affectionate though. You're yeah, affectionate I think person. I am. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah. In a way. And my mom loves birthday too, but she usually forgets her birthday. Mm. So, and then she get angry when you don't remember her house. Uh. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. What's okay. your parents' parenting style? style. Yeah. I think my parents just winged it. I think I've said this before. Like, yeah. they were not really, and I think they got lucky. This is one thing I will not do when I'm going to my own child. They got really lucky because they had like kids that don't lie, that don't steal. I don't mm. know how they got lucky about it, <laughs> but it was. Maybe it wasn't love. Maybe it was because they lived their life in such a way that we get to model our life after their own life, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they were intentional about like, it. Like by not, example. Yes. Maybe they were intentional about it, but not like vocal, like verbal, like um instruction, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how they did it, but we all turned out well. But they did not really have a particular style like that, right? They just let you like do your thing. They trust you to do well. And then when you mess up, you come back up, right? Get the lesson that you were supposed to have, like you were supposed to get before you go mess up, right? Mm -hmm. Where she faced the consequences. Because I, I remember there was this time that, yeah, and I invested my school fees in something, mm -hmm. and then I lost the money, right? And it was a lot of money, right? I think it was my first year of college, yeah. So, mm -hmm. and I had to pay tuition back. I had to go back home and tell my friend that I lost my tuition. <laughs> Last it wasn't a really nice money. conversation. All the right. money, it was a lot of money. Mom was so okay. So this is it. My parents don't get angry at the same time, right? So if my mom is angry, my dad is probably gonna be like super chilled. I think that's just that. <laughs> they did like the good copy back up. Right? <laughs> so if my dad is hungry, if my if my dad is hungry, my mom is gonna be like just so we sit at that particular point in time, right? <laughs> but at this point, they were both angry. It was oh, like next no. yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> I don't know how I survived it, but it was crazy. Like it was really crazy. So they never had a parenting style. I think you know they just kind of like winged it. <laughs> they did. Okay. I would turn that way. But there's no like things that um like words that you would use to say this is kind of what they surrounded their parenting. 
but I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. So mine, um, systematic, I would say like there's always like a clear way to do certain things. So like one thing is my dad loves a clean house. Like can't stand the dirty house. And so one thing we had to do every night was shut down the kitchen. And to a certain point, no matter, to a certain point, you each, like each one of the girls had a job. So um, I would do the dishes, someone would do the counters, someone else would do the floors. And then as we got older, it would be like, all right, so Deja has the kitchen for this week. So Deja has the kitchen, Alexis. So it was very systematic in um, the way we ran the house. Like a miniature style? Yeah, because my dad's- Yeah, <laughs> yeah that makes sense. But mine, <laughs> yeah. wasn't, mine wasn't like that. I mean, well, in the house, we hold up like what we do when we wake up in the morning. I think mm -hmm. I do more of like, when you are very young, you do like washing plates and all of that. Then the older people like we sweep, because we sweep every day like, in my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sweep and, the older person, like probably the oldest, will cook, stuff like that. Mm. So it wasn't like really like, it was just what you wake up and do. It wasn't like, yeah, you have to do some work. Like those are the three main things that we do, right? Mm. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Like wash good, yeah. But aside from like general parenting thing, they had no like um, clear cut like system. Mm. You just kind of like do it as you go. Right. Yeah. So, okay, so you have to tell me the funniest story that you have about growing up, okay? So fun was something that, like, even to this day, like, my family, we believe in working hard. That's something else that my parents, I consider this, like, working hard, but also playing hard, enjoying yourself, enjoying life and family and stuff like that. And so we, like, towards, because my family we went through, like, a big journey um, to be where we are today as far as the closeness that we have and the bond that we have. But like as we got closer, we started doing these videos, these music videos. And so every year we would do like a themed video to whatever song we wanted to like share with people, mm -hmm. right? And so this one year um, we did like a Christmas video, I think it was. And we had, it was like a rap song and I was rapping and my sisters were behind me. Facebook? Yeah. And we had Are our you, dogs. Like, <laughs> I'll swipe it in there. And we had our dogs at the very end. This is the funniest, like, and I don't know if you really get the effect. I'll probably just have to play the video. But at the very end, like, everyone's jumping around, having fun. Everyone's, like, out of the camera. And, like, we take, like, shooting and recording very seriously. Like, the lighting needs to be right, you know. And so at the very end, Alexandra goes and puts her face in the camera and like blocks everybody and my mom was not having it not having it right so she goes around and like smacks her on the butt and you can hear alexandra's cry in the video and everyone's like oh my like she just got beat on camera <laughs> <laughs> so, Did you do it again? Uh, no, that's the one that we posted. <laughs> that's the one that we posted. <laughs> so, it's like a funny memory. Like, anytime we see that video, everyone automatically knows, like, what's coming at the Because <laughs> she was kind of up for no reason. <laughs> and we were doing so well. <laughs> but, yeah. It was a funny memory. Okay. So, how is brother? I like stealing, not like stealing. <laughs> that's just like a young people's stuff. Mm -hmm. like, so the funniest thing that I experienced quite growing up was that my mom actually jailed my brother in our house. <laughs> it was really extreme. Yeah, he had it like locked in a room, put on the blinds, get food once in a day. I think for like seven days or twelve days. I don't know. We're not allowed to talk to him. He wasn't allowed to talk to anybody. He was in number one and number two. <laughs> it was in the morning and about two in the same room. Very early in the morning, she's gonna come clean the place for him. He continued. Nobody's talking to him. See, when he came out, he came out a new man. <laughs> I think that was like it was she was just tired of it, right? Uh -huh. She was like, if you wanna be a bad person, uh -huh. have a taste of what it means to be a bad person. Right. Mm. So and it's it like worked. Positive reinforcement. Yeah, it worked really well. He's, mm. he's gonna probably gonna watch this video and it's not gonna like the fact that I said it on camera. <laughs> but it was like the funniest thing that happened when I was growing up. Like mm. funniest thing. Yeah, what was typical punishment for you? <sighs> I think we have this in common, but go ahead. 
the punishment thing yeah like as far as frequency like i didn't get in trouble often yeah i didn't like getting spanking so i'm just like i maybe i remember one vivid one and to this day i still don't believe like it was my fault and i should have done the spanking and that was like my dad was like rarely did the spanking as always well my mom yeah i think why mom moms are like <laughs> super ninja in the family like, beating everybody up i think they have this ten tendency to yeah. just beat boys i think that's it yeah but we were girls or beat anybody <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but my this dad is like time... super chilled like well at least towards me is like not me anyway towards most of us it's super chill and then that gets my mom really angry right it's like i'm trying to correct this kid you cannot even support me you know stuff like that she wants and it's gonna be like okay okay i said obey your mom <laughs> <laughs> obey that's it i think that's the pick of it for him listen to your mom yeah like, <laughs> mom, listen to your, that's it right that's it right but my mom is probably been, I, and I know like deep down. Oh, this is okay. I have another question. Okay. After you're done. The, and I know like deep down at some point, he's probably gonna be like, okay, can this kid just be? Right. You know, stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get to his often. The one that I remember, I got it from my dad, and I was just like, was I it I Got in trouble. It wasn't my fault. Ah like okay so we were going outside right we we're running by so this was my cousin dominic and we we're super bored and we had this big dog i think it was our big dog that we had right i don't know or maybe our small ones but um they had gotten gotten out right so they're like running up and down the code of, yeah our dogs are up and down the thing and so we're like dang so and it was just the kids at home it was just me and my cousins at home me and my cousin at home and my other siblings so then i'm like all right the dogs out i have to get the dog so we get the dog recover the dog and then we're like hey let's stay outside so we're on our bikes and we're just flying around the neighborhood and then we're like oh what a good idea we should open the mailboxes and close them with our feet your own mailbox or some other fool's mailbox everywhere <laughs> Yeah, you deserved it. No, this is what I'm like. You there's no it. harm, no foul. Yes, like, there's harm in it. It is completely harmless. People will think it you're is gonna a steal game. Their, people, think you, people will think you want to steal their meal. Yeah. Oh, why do we want to? We're kids. As a, we're like seven, eight, nine. You're not kids. I mean, yeah. Maybe eleven. Huh, you deserved <laughs> it. And so we're just running around and we kick the mailbox and then we had this evil neighbor who <laughs> saw us do it and, and she to came the... to our house, yo. I reported I... you. Told our parents what we that's did. good. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was not having it. And that's I was gonna ask you, like, what is one thing that gets under your parents' skin that is just like automatic, like you will never do this again. And that for my parents is like if you make them look bad in public. Yeah. I think I think <laughs> for for my parents, it uh, so I've never been the type that gets into trouble really. I think really, I don't know. Cause I, I didn't either. I, I didn't either. I, 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 like, like, I don't like speaking, so we're just gonna be I, deep. But uh, I don't know. Like I've never been in that point where I would be like Oh, you made them really hungry. I know I remember this um time that I think I took my I drove my mom's car. It was supposed to be like for a short errand and I went like for a really long time and they were really worried about me. Mm -hmm. My dad was so hungry that day. It wasn't even like that day. Oh yeah. We step outside. Yeah. 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 Good, yeah. Good, good. Like we were it was hungry and the best thing you could have like the best punishment they could give us that day was just mm -hmm. it did not allow us to sleep inside the house so we slept inside the car like, <laughs> okay yeah and that was it like it's so interesting the different punishments that boys get versus girls like sleeping in the car you would never put your daughter in the car outside yeah yeah but that day it was like you know what sleep in that car and my mom was like really really begging for us to let him in let us in but wasn't having it mm. so um the takeaway from it is that for me is that kids are definitely gonna turn out like well the environment like, might influence them but if you're like a good parent mm -hmm. your kids will just turn out well in yeah. most cases yeah right yeah 
and if they get to see like your daily lives not like there's a side of you they don't know about yeah that's key right mm -hmm. so if they know what your life is like like not like there's a part of you that they know there's a part of you they don't know that's mm -hmm. going to be an issue they'll have like, transparency yes transparency is really really important because you have like this is this is us this is what we stand for right in your presence in your absence this is us right yeah so at the end of the day you don't even have to like instruct them verbally of what you expect from them they just kind of like know that my parents will not be happy about this and they will right. like, yeah. so right. yeah that's it that's good i was yeah. gonna say something what's that that kids pay more attention to what you do versus what you say so you have to set that a good example but parenting is such a huge responsibility that's why i, I want to do it like when i have kids i want to be prepared i don't want it to be a surprise you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i mean most people have nine months to get prepared <laughs> Most people have nine months to get prepared. No, I'm saying, but the whole process from pregnancy to the actual kid coming. Like, I need to be in a space where I'm ready to, like, raise another human. Yeah. You know? Yeah, um, I see what you mean. I mean, it's it's not a job and to be to intentional take, about it. And also, one thing most people don't, don't um, consider, like, um, one thing most people don't really, really focus on, and that I think helped me from my brother and everybody helped us as, like, growing up was the kind of neighborhood and the kind of people that my parents were friends with that's really really key right because mm -hmm. we grew up in an environment where everybody they were like working class they have like young kids that were age everybody's always like going out doing their thing kids are in the same class right so there's this high expectation you cannot come up with like third or fourth position when your neighbor's kid is in your class and it's making first, your dad is going to be so angry, right? You cannot even move around in the house. They're like, yeah, that's why you feel. <laughs> why are you laughing? That's why you feel. Why are you watching the TV? That's why you feel. You know, stuff like that, right? African parents don't do all this positive reinforcement that you see in America. No, they do negative reinforcement. If you're not doing well, they use it against you. They're like, ah. I definitely think African parents are a lot more stricter when it comes to school. Yeah, they a like lot school. <laughs> they like school. <laughs> so, so that's that's a massive point. Like, I think it wasn't deliberate. We we're just lucky to find ourselves in that kind of settings, right? Where like everybody, like up to date, right? Up to right, this present moment, I still check out those guys that I grew up with. I check them, them out on Facebook, on LinkedIn. How's everybody doing? Hope I'm not behind, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Facts, right? Up to today, mm. like, I think are they doing well? Yeah, they are doing well. Mm. Like, most of them turned out well, right? Mm. So, even though we don't communicate, I see them at, like a standard that my parents raised, right? Mm. Such that, no, because I was always coming like first, second, first, second with one other guy in my neighborhood, like first, second, first, second, first, second, first, second. which was nice. So yeah, <laughs> neighborhood is also very, very important, and mm -hmm. yeah. So that's mm -hmm. like the social factor that contributes to how your kids end up like yeah so um what else do you want to do that's all okay if you enjoyed this episode <laughs> which i know you do i mean most of the time when we make this video it's not so much of what we really want to put out there it's just us having a conversation and trying to just can you relate to it, it? Yeah. share your memories and stuff like that what you experienced growing up so do not forget to subscribe to the channel yeah give the video a thumbs up if you like it oh wait before we end what's that i have to address my hair because what? this is like the first video with my natural hair besides like the big chop one mm -hmm. hmm. if you've not seen the video about the big chop I'm gonna link it. it. I'm gonna link it. Yeah. Are you gonna actually link it? Because you said I you're will link, link it, it here, but the problem is they don't like click on it. You wanna like, link it? So I'm like, click why? on it, guys. Yeah, why is click it there? It. If you're not gonna play, check it out. They're yeah. gonna watch it though. Okay. They wanna see. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. My natural hair, guys, natural hair journey has started. It's official. And it's already intense. Because he's seen me like do prep and stuff. And he's like, are you gonna do this every, every morning? Day. <laughs> every day. Every oh, day. So, yeah, I gotta do that. But yeah, okay, now I can end. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. Peace. Ow. <laughs>Hi guys, welcome to an episode on Live, Learn, and Repeat. And today's episode, we're going to be talking about. What are we talking about? <laughs> cut, cut.